welcome back to my youtube channel if this is the first time you're coming across this channel please subscribe make sure that you hit that post notification bell so that you're alerted every time i upload a new video i'm starting this video at this particular point because um i came from mombasa i, I had gone for a holiday and since i came back home i've never done any kind of cleaning yeah and um i feel like i should tag you along because today i'm going to do um i can't say that i'm going to do full thorough cleaning but i'm going to do a lot of cleaning so i decided to tag you along so that you can see how i'm going to clean so this is how the house looks like at this particular point so the floor is very very dirty and the windows are are also very very dusty yeah i don't know if it is visible but the the house is not in a good shape it's kind of very very dirty yeah even this place it's very very dusty you can see no no so it's very very dusty so i want to do serious serious cleaning i've already wiped this seat so that my son can continue watching meanwhile i want to make sure that i i clean everything and then let me show you the kitchen so this is actually dust from the potatoes that I, wa I was trying to transfer from one container to the other. Yeah, so that is that. And that is how the kitchen looks like. It's not in a very, very good shape. I've even like decided to tie the curtain like that. And then that is how the cooking area looks like. These are the potatoes I was telling you about. They are very, very muddy. Yeah. And then let us go to the bedroom. So this is actually how the bedroom looks like. Um, I had done laundry. All these are clean clothes, but I'm not. I had not gotten any chance to like uh, fold them. So and then this is the condition of my bed. Yani, it looks crazy. It looks crazy. So and then the last place I want to show you is the loo. So that is how the floor looks like. It's very very dirty very dirty so i want us to start the cleaning then this is how the balcony looks like you see so kukukuchafusana very very dirty so that is that the the shoes are randomly placed so um i want to start cleaning so welcome to today's video Make sure you like this video because that supports my content and then let us jump right into this video let us start cleaning together This is an artificial plant so definitely it gets dusty because you cannot water it yeah if it was possible to water it i would have like poured water directly on the leaves but it's just for beauty I have done a different video telling you where I bought my curtains from. They were very, very affordable. So the video has contacts of that shop. And also, I bought my artificial plants at a shop in Stage Market along Jogo Road. So if you need the curtains, 
and uh, maybe the artificial plants and you're not able to come to Nairobi remember that I'm an errant girl in other words I can shop for you and send parcels at a small fee to wherever part of this republic you are in and um, I do the same day delivery To improve the smell in the living room, I always add star soft in the water that I'm using to wash the living room. That way, um, my living room always smells fresh. In tune in my mind, can't seem to break away. Lost in time, thinking about better days. Do you? So that is how the living room looks like it's now fresh and clean so i want the floor to totally dry before i return or put the carpet back yeah your fruits and vegetables before storing yeah i always do that because yeah we are just two in the house and i always want to ensure my son takes the fruits when they are clean but he always washes them again which is also okay with me but i always want to make sure that the fruits are clean before i store them This dishwashing soap that um, I'm using is not good. I really don't recommend it because it doesn't form, yet it, ex it is expensive. Which dishwashing soap do you use at home? Please let me know in the comment section because I really need to change. I pour a lot of it and it's not like working. It's called Sarah Fresh. I don't recommend this soap. <laughs> To place my utensils in the pink rack uh, that I'm holding right now but I feel like it is too big for utensils and yet I can still use the one that I've placed on the sink that is what I want to do and then I will use the pink rack to store maybe fruits vegetables and a few items that I frequently use in my kitchen when I'm cooking. Meanwhile, I want to um, upgrade maybe to the stainless steel one. I want to like get the best stand for my kitchen. Um, I only see in Kamkunji gold and uh, silver dish racks that are now modern. That is what I want to get, but still, um, I'm still like doing my survey. Artificial love, we just make it up Cause reality will never be good enough And even if it was, 
we just mess it up Cause we already are Addicted to the rush I never meant to fall All I wanted was a touch of artificial love We just make it up my kitchen is full of mali mali products and i told you in the other video where i was discussing mali mali business in kenya that mali mali products are basic they are requirements in every household because you'll find out that everything you use every time you are touching something in your house that is actually mali mali and then when it comes to cosmetic anything that you use on your body anything that you put on your head i mean hair face body soap in the bathroom all those are now cosmetics so um i always emphasize that if you want to start a business start either mali mali or a cosmetic business and you will never go wrong with such kind of businesses if you have noticed something with me is that i have a lot of plastic utensils i don't know what is there in plastic but i normally don't like using glass i don't buy glass i don't have even anything that is made up of glass except for something like um you know what everything to me is plastic plastic to me is bay um i can't say that i cannot afford glass uh utensils but um i'm not a fan why should i buy something i will not use salute to all my fans that work as house helps this work is not easy as much as people think that you're just eating their food or just living in their space without paying rent the housework job is very very hard and difficult and very tiring um i would say that i really respect all the people that have decided to work as house help to at least make a living for their families my advice to somebody that is maybe working as a house help is number one, focus. Do what took you there. Focus on the main goal, which is to save a lot of money to at least start a business. And um, when you get at least twenty to 50000 you are ready to start a very, very good business that will be profitable. Let me know what you think about that idea and um, I'm going to help you at least start a reasonable business that will be profitable at the end of the day. So this is the final look. Uh, the kitchen is partially clean because I did not do thorough cleaning, but this is now habitable and I feel like I have done my best. And um, I just decided to do this uh, on camera so that everybody can respect people that work for them, especially if you have a house help. Yeah, these things are really tiring and I was supposed to like clean the whole house, but I'm not able because at this point I'm already too tired too tired i will not be able to to clean the toilet i'll not be able to clean the bathroom um and also the bedroom i'm going to do that later because i'm the owner of the house so i was imagining if a house help maybe was told to clean the whole house they really really get tired where and then the kids are waiting for you they are hungry they are crying others need to be changed diapers others need to be taken to school others need to be picked from the bus station so wait, 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 wait. we need to respect these people
that is how things look like um, I'm not going to do anything else apart from now cooking lunch which I have to because my son has to eat Ah, and I'm so tired yani, um, I just have to cook whether I like it or not because food must be eaten yeah but I'm not going to fold clothes I'm not going to wash the bathroom or the toilet yeah so I'm going to do it when I feel like I have like relax for a bit that's the final outlook of my living room it looks good it looks clean yeah and the kitchen is also clean as well and the balcony but for the other rooms until further notice On. Um, I still need like a shoe rack by the way. I need a shoe rack on a serious note. So, mambo ni polepo. I'm done cleaning the living room and the kitchen, and the only place remaining is the bedroom and the toilet or the washroom. But I'm not going to clean them today because I'm already tired. So, um, I will rest and then I will think of whether I'm going to clean today or tomorrow. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next video. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe for more entertaining content.